Hi people, it's uh, Kathy Ryan here in Bundaberg, Queensland and you see before you what you think would be a messy table and you'd probably be pretty much right in thinking that. However, I've just done a pour and I have all this really beautiful colours and patterns and this is, a lot of people um, make jewellery out of uh, out of these or they collect the skins and do all sorts of wonderful things with it. This is what I do. I make cards. Okay, so these are a couple I've done over time. These haven't been um, lacquered or anything yet, so the colours are a little bit dull. And this one is one I did quite a long time ago, and you can see how, how nice the colours are once it does get its little coat on it. So... And what I do, I'll start from the beginning and then I can come back to these. So I'll just put them out of my way over here because I don't trust myself to paint on them. So what I do, I purchase blank cards. I get these, they're just cards, with an envelope. They come in a packet and I think there's 25 in or 25 I think in the packet for around $5. I'll pick them up in Kmart and that's what I use. Okay, so when, where's the paper? The paper that I use to put the paint on, shiny side up, is photo paper. And like you would put in your printer to get a picture of Grandma or a little Freddy or somebody. And you put the paint on the shiny side. So I'll leave that there because I'm going to be using that in a minute, so there's a couple of them. And when they're done, these, and they're dry, you can see that you still have to trim them down. They're a little bit bigger than the card, not much. But I don't like to have them exactly um, the same size as the card, because when you put them down, that could easily just come up if you've only glued it on. So I cut them down to this size and then I have to put them on nicely and have the the card is a border around the picture. The other thing I do and I don't have any here at the moment to show you I buy the photo corners picture corners that you would put on the photograph in an album and I slip them on then I take the little gluey bit off the back and just carefully put them on in place and once you glue them down, your picture is in, in the right place. And I have tried putting the corners on and then slipping the picture in, only to find that I've, you know, got one off kilter or something. So that's a bit of a pain. So now I put them onto that and then I put them on here. And as I said, the, the cards come with an envelope. So, you know, they only cost you the basic postage to send off to someone. And for Christmas presents, birthdays, just to get in touch with somebody you haven't spoken to for a little while. Or get well, you know, anything. Uh, they're really nice. Uh, especially if you sign them. Don't forget to sign your work. And then once I have them all done and stuck on the card... I also purchased these and I got these off eBay and they're poly bags by Anko and these are there's 50 bags in here and I think they cost me about three dollars free delivery and these are 16 by 11 and a half centimeters and so I'd have to do more maths and I'm not going to for inches but you know they fit the um they fit the the cards and um, I know that wasn't a card but it's the same size and so when you um, do that and they have a self sealing top so you just put it over and put it on and they look really nice so if you wanted to sell your cards you just put the card in the envelope in one of these and they look really nice and so I, I sell the cards too in packs of 10 so what I will do um, under show more when you click onto it, um, where's the card? Oh, I just want to get them in. I just want to get the cards and envelopes away from the paint. I, I was playing with one yesterday and um, wrecked it, got black paint all over it. Um, yeah, now what was I saying? Oh, yes, under show more, I will put um, 
all these um, this information so that you can um, paste and copy and paste or you can just write it out or whatever for your own information that's quite all right and um, it's probably the best way to go anyway because there's a lot of information to um, try and remember so the, the way I pick this up some people I've seen go like that well I only end up with mud um, so and I've tried with a knife and a you know painting things to scoop it up scoop scoop nah still same thing paint uh, of mud I mean so this is how I have found come away um, that I can manage it now when I get them onto here and they're all covered I lay them onto a piece of plastic and this is just one of those little freezer bags it's a, a generic brand you put your food in it whack it in the freezer these come off really really easy off the plastic I was I did make a bit of a blue this is how I worked out the plastic business I put this one down on that very um, wire rack you just saw and when it's stuck you see to the paint so now I have to pick it all off and it's tedious but then what I did do getting it off the rack I tore it but when I measured it up the tear will be what I'm going to cut off anyway so I thought oh that's okay I'll just save that one but some of the others were just badly torn and, and I had to dispose of them and it was as you know when something like that happens it's always to the nicer ones but you can see how hard it is you've got to get that off because if you don't get it off and you glue it on the card you have a lump and it and it's unsightly and besides people will see that lump and they'll think what's under it and they'll have to pick the card up to <laughs> try and find out what what you've done underneath there so that that's how I do that so that was just something I learned um, painfully but I learned it so that's I use the plastic now so picking up of the paints and I'm going to start here with these because these are quite nice so how I do it because a knife doesn't really work that well I do this and then just flip it on you can wipe it off there like that and this one it's easier when you've got a bigger puddle like is over there but these little ones um, are a good start here's another nice one and I just let it rock and roll in if the backs of your um, thingos get too messy they're the ones I actually um, glue onto the card that just sort of covers up my mess but you know, they go on quite easy now we'll get this piece here too because that's pretty get in and they just slide on quite easily little lump get out And roll it around just the same you do as a, a painting it does get a bit messy towards the end um, and it gets a bit gooey but if you want a pretty picture a nice card the goo shouldn't matter and this one's going to be nice Rape that on yep. and then come on 
bending over a little bit and, and it can roll around. Need a bit more on here. There's some black. And I just um, mess with it until I've got kind of a pattern that I like and uh, and bring it back maybe and uh, see that side there's a bit uninteresting but this will stretch down and be quite pretty you can also put these into little frames and just put them on the wall if you get one that's spectacular you know that you really really love that's only just a, a little photo frame then you can get those anywhere something a bit fancy Okay, so how about you go back to the, what are you, I don't know what that was, back to the middle a little bit, and uh, and so that's, that's that, and then I'll just lay it there for a minute, I'll wipe my hands off, and um, torch it, you can torch them, you won't hurt them. But if you put them on the... Right, now, there's some cells coming up on this one. If you put them on the plastic before you torch them, um, be careful you don't set your plastic on fire or it melts all over your picture because if it melts on your picture and you take it off it's just going to be mud and uh, I don't think there's enough there to do another picture but what I do with my table then as soon as this sort of dries by tomorrow it'll be dry um, gee that's pretty no won't go on <laughs> um, I can just get a knife and slip it under that and all of this will just peel off. And much, much of the time I just get it off in one, one big peel. And even that's good fun. I'll bring you down to have a look at this card we just made and then um, we'll be back lickety split for you to um, see the next step. So that's the card I just did and um, you can see it's got cells it's um, really pretty and you could do uh, anything on it you wanted uh, some of those balloon kisses or, or whatever you know that's up to you to decorate them and so thank you for watching so far please stay on and uh, we'll get on to the next part of making cards Hi, right. uh, well it's been a few days and I'm back to finish the cards. This is the one uh, you saw me pouring and I've um, off camera cut it down, it dried so I cut it down and signed it of course and sprayed it. So that's going to be resurrected in a minute. These two um, I, I'm going to spray and uh, not that I don't believe that you know how to spray but I'm going to show you that how I do it I use this boil matte spray it dries clear it actually goes on clear as well and the idea is to give it a really good shake and that's 
should do it. And then I go. Like that. As you can see with the one that I have sprayed, it gets quite a nice shine to it. You know, I thought when uh, I purchased it that it would be a flat matte, but um, I get a shine with it, so that's okay too. And then I just set those aside to dry. I think I've got a pretty good cover. Sometimes if you don't think you've got a good cover, you can go back the other way. And then I just set them aside to dry. You might like to do that spraying business outside too. That stuff's pretty strong, but it's not that bad. Um, you know, like I, well, I shouldn't say that because I don't know what your lungs are like, but yeah. Okay, so maybe it should be done outside. Good ass. Yes, it. So here we are. We have uh, our painting. And do I? Oh no. Where do I put the card? Goodness gracious, I got everything else ready, but not the card. Okay, so. There's his little card that he's going to go on. Whoops. And around. I didn't cut that too straight by the look of it. Where's my scissors? Goodness. Just give him a little that looks a bit better. A little smidgen off this corner here. Um, Alright, so this is how I do this. Glue on the floor. Where else? And then I'm gonna put a bit out here. Because why I ugh, why you do it I do it this way. If I squeeze the glue onto the back of the card, I invariably put too much on. So this is horrible glue. It's supposed to be PVA, but it's more like slime. All right. And around. This is just straight. You could, if you wanted, mix it with a bit of water. Um, that's up to you. If, like I said, would think that I'm getting it because I've got it on my hands onto the card, it will dry clear, so you don't really have to worry too much about it. Okay, so I've got a nice cover there. Bring my card over. Maybe I just put that there and wipe my hands. I do have a lot on. Sticky, sticky. Okay, here we go. Now, I've already signed it, so I want that down onto... dry so back with the trusty plastic bags which I um, talked about before and then I just put the card like that wrap him up a bit and then I put this like that inside a book and that will and I'll leave it there for a few days that will dry nice and flat and stuck on there. It won't, doesn't have a tendency to lift if the books hold. Uh, you can just get one in a 
an old book in a thrift shop or somewhere and it, you won't be destroying um, your own book so I'll just put that underneath this can for the time being so um, what I'm going to do apart from getting rid of this piece of paper in a minute um, is switch you off while I set up all of the different sections of cards so that we can um, just go through and see the steps side by side so I won't be a minute doing that fine so set it up just to briefly run through so you've done your painting and you've done your tipping and you have some beautiful paint so then you collect the paint onto your uh, photo paper you then wait for it to dry you then have it here and you um, sign it and you spray it you then cut it down to the size that you want for your card in this case it's um, 8 by 12 centimeters but I'll write that all down underneath you then glue it onto your card and then once it's glued onto the card you wrap it and you hold it down for a few days till it dries and then you'll see that it's on there nicely and then you get out your trusty little cellophane packet and it's nice and put them in there now that looks off center but it's not because the card only comes to here somewhere just that's the envelope so yeah that's um basically well once you get it to that stage you're off to the market so you get to this stage you whack it in an envelope and send it off to somebody that um that you want to get in contact with or whatever for some reason and thank you very much for watching i hope you've uh, enjoyed and please give this video the thumbs up uh, down underneath the show more you will find a link to my facebook group which is australia art dreaming there's also uh, my contact um, email if you wish to purchase any of these um, just get in touch with me and that's it <coughs> excuse me thank you very much uh, for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye